What a beautifully crafted and fun horn this is. This is one of the topper, top end of Carol Brass's line, the 7770. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this horn in just a second. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're doing well today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, stay up to date with us with all of our show and tells, our free mini lesson series, our live streams, and so much more. If there's something that you wanna hear or a pot potential mini lesson topic, post them in the comments here. We'd love to hear from you. This came in as a, a recent trade towards an Adams instrument, and I was a Carol Brass dealer for many years, and um, this was always one of my favorite ones, and I'll show you why. It's just beautiful, beautifully crafted throughout. This one's in almost new condition. You can see it's just gorgeous. There's a couple things that I totally dig about this horn. I love the contact points here. That is just gorgeous, and then they have one on the back as well. This horn, the 777, 7770, the model numbers, again, in Carol's line, they're very confusing. But this is quite easy. Seven stands for the, the top level. The seven uh, on these parts are for the um, lead pipe material and the tuning slide material. Zero stands for the bore size, which in this case is 460. Um, and the L stands for the reversed tuning slide configuration. Um, the Y stands for a yellow brass bell. The S stands for the standard thickness. Oh no, sorry, I always get that one confused. The S is for yellow. Oh, sorry, okay, Y, yellow brass. S stands for the taper of the bell, which is the th like a 37 taper, and the T on the end stands for the gauge, which is a thin gauge bell. It's a very light horn, it feels really good in the hand. I've got some, um, so you'll see that model number right there. That's, it, it's what they do with their line. It gets a little, it gets a little confusing there. Uh, my head is now turned into a bell logo, by the way. Um, this one comes with a bunch of stuff. Let's first look at the case. It's a beautiful case. It, it's that alligator style case. It's a hard case. Um, the highest level Carol Brass horns come with this case. It's really great, very robust. And that's a picture of the case inside the horn, uh, the horn inside the case. And you'll see there's a bunch of goodies there too, which we're gonna show right now. You've got this trim kit here, which is heavy trim kit on the valves, slightly recessed buttons, heavy top caps, heavy bottom caps. Not super heavy, but heavy. But I do like the buttons themselves of this horn. And that's what you see on the horn here. Yeah, I think those are just gorgeous. And that's a standard professional level Carol uh, button top set. You'll see there. Also included in this, you might have saw it in the case, is the rounded slide. Um, with They both have the Carol Brass Amato style water keys, which are quite easy to take out and clean versus an Amato, which can be quite a challenge. This horn feels great in the hand because it's so light. It's really well balanced and it's just beautifully made. Um, the valves feel like they haven't even been broken in, so it's, in my, ass, in my opinion, it's basically a new horn. Um, yeah, let me play a little bit more on it. Very agile, gets around quite nicely.
All right, maybe you're not gonna play Brandenburg on B flat, but if you want to play some pop stuff on this, it will do it nicely, very nicely. So a pro horn that is gorgeous, that comes with an awesome case and a ton of accessories, and it's basically the price of some brand student trumpets. Check it out today at our web store. If you have any additional questions, post them in the comments. Thanks again for watching this video. Happy tootin'. I'm gonna play this horn a little bit more. Take care.